the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Good evening, our friend beyond, and welcome to Relationship Corner with me, Magnus. Now today, the topic on board is that is sex before marriage bad? Is sex before marriage bad? I can't sit here and do it all by myself. I have on the line with me Obahima Espia Adipashi. It's a relationship aspect, and she's going to help me discuss the topic. Before I go to her, let me tell you my stance on the topic. I feel that sex before marriage is really, really bad. Obahima, what have you got to say about it? Well, good evening to your listeners and then your, v- your viewers. Right. I'm very glad to be on your show. Right. We are glad <laughs> to have you. Great. Yes, I'm good. Okay. You think sex before marriage is bad? Yes. Really, really bad, actually. Really, really bad. Yes. I don't think so. Okay. And the reasons yes. are... I know sex is a big deal and it comes with a lot of responsibilities. Okay. No one should be having sex so they can fully be accountable for their actions. Okay. With sex, you have to be fully prepared as it can, as it can be emotionally tied you down with the wrong person. And my okay. this doesn't mean that you should go on in the table. And what are my reasons? Okay. One, one, when you have sex before marriage, mm-hmm. it helps you find out mm-hmm. your sex if, whether if you are sexually compatible with your partner. Mm-hmm. In the sense of say you feel comfortable with your partner. Okay. Yes, yes. Some, somebody will go like me. I want a black, long, straight penis. Okay. This way, I think there is that chemistry between you and your partner. Okay. And, you know, even when you have a person, your partner starts, mm-hmm. you don't feel tired. Okay. Because you guys, you guys know each other. Okay. And the other reason, mm-hmm. when sex before marriage helps you discover sexual related problems. Okay. Impotence or any disease. The fact that you both can solve something as intimate as sexual related health issues mm-hmm. means mm-hmm. both of you have formed a bond really great and that will be helpful in the future when you both get married. Okay. This case you get to know say your partner is not impotent. Mm. Your woman is not having any diseases. This way you get to know say your partner can last longer, like thirty minutes. 15 minutes, and no obia moko kakredi na sama boy. Okay, okay. Okay. And magiti obia ni wa kuno kwa kwa na ya ufa maunge chip experiment. You have to plan na ya na sengi. So even you you don't you don't have sex before marriage, mm-hmm. and then you get you get married. You don't have to work for work for bank or hour or and then your wedding day, honeymoon, nice for now. Sex is to be enjoyed. It is how nice now we'll be enjoying. I see now we'll be man, we'll be sure we'll have to make love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when when you do when you say you've done that already, I want to go say yeah, my baby loves kinky. And two years after marriage, I'm gonna give him more kids. Okay. My baby was a missionary. Who needs to be mother? Let's take her third point. Mm-hmm. For sexual experience. Okay. You get to learn more stuff. You can say, hey, the baby, if so, no, or for listen, no, it's not so. Look at this power, it's a bit smarter. That would be the cheap, after you see the man in here. It's a new style, yeah, babe. The kitchen's key sex position. Come on, Maggie. Mm-hmm. If you don't have the experience about all these styles, Master, your marriage, as your marriage, your sex life is going to be boring. Me and I can only and I'm going to go mm-hmm. outside just to be with somebody who is more experienced. And my, our fourth point is going to make you, I don't know how to be with me. Okay. Do you know sex is actually healthy and natural? Mm-hmm. Sex, it kills, sex it kills headaches. Okay. Do you know that? I didn't know stress. that. Stress. Stress. Mm-hmm. Sex, it kills stress. Sex is very healthy and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. In fact, sex is a good way to keep your immune system human. Okay. Sex really boosts your libido. Wow. It's low, wow. It lowers um, blood pressure. Okay. It improves women's bladder control and it's also way to keep your body in shape. Okay. So, so, and so my mm-hmm. told me, mm-hmm. so you can't actually say that mm-hmm. sex after a uh, before marriage is mm-hmm. bad. Some ways it's bad, but when it happens, 
sweetheart, you can't take yourself for that. Okay. And this shouldn't shouldn't be there. First sex before marriage is not bad news. You, you are going around sleeping with any guy. Okay. So so my my you question to you would be that so Abraham and Sarah or those in the Bible that never had sex with their partners before they they they, they got attached to them in a certain way. That, that mm-hmm. one that one also. What, what have you got to say about it? So that means they don't know what's up or what. Not that they don't know what's up. And to my friend, you can't be say at the gym more olden days. Okay. So you those get, those that didn't old, have sex before marriage, not that time now, but me bre home. Yes, olden days. Okay. That is the time now. And which yes. so so let me use myself. I'm 22, almost 23 this year, and I've not mm-hmm. slept with anyone yet. So Miss Miss, what 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 have you got to say about me? So it means that when I go to marriage, I wouldn't be able to know all the styles to give to my husband one day. Bella Mundi, who is 29 years, Bella Mundi, she's, she's 29 this year. She will be 29 uh-huh. this year. She has not slept with anyone, according to her. So she wouldn't also be able to satisfy her husband when she enters into marriage. Is that what you're telling us, madam? No, not that you guys will be able to satisfy your husband. Okay. But Alice, mm. sex at the first time is very painful. Okay. And it's bloody. Okay. You won't enjoy it. Okay. You won't enjoy it. Okay. Sex has to be enjoyed. Okay. Yeah, you will you'll feel pain. You feel, imagine you're like you are all prepared to say, Hey, tonight I'm gonna give it all out to my husband. Okay. And then or this you know, it's not even doing really. You just yes, as a young guy, you have to take time to mm-hmm. study the process. Okay. Yeah. So 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 my my next question will be will be that um let's let's just say that you're you're into a relationship with someone, okay? Mm-hmm. And and you don't know how far the relationship is going. The person has not told you whether they would be marrying you or not. But then you go and sleep with the person and at the at the point in time the relationship ends. You go into another one and then you sleep with that person, you you, you move on, nothing better comes out of that relationship, you move on, go about sleeping with that person again. My my question here would be that we all know that when you sleep with someone, you are you are mm-hmm. spiritually attached to that person. Okay. Yeah. And, and I, I I have read that sometimes even forgetting those people becomes a problem. Now, my question is, if we continue testing, okay, just because we want to be experienced and not want to suffer when it's our first time and all that, if we continue to test it and we continue to be spiritually bonded to people, when we eventually find the right person, wouldn't it create a problem for us? Good. That is what before I said. Okay. It doesn't mean that if you go around sleeping with die. Okay. You understand? Yes. Someone, mm-hmm. it's communication. Okay. You put the person down. Hey, listen to me. Yeah, they're coming. Okay. How far are we taking this? Okay. Emma, if Emma says you get into a relationship and then you just give yourself out. Okay. You study the person. Mhm. You study the person. You get to know. Say, hey, this person, I feel he's the right guy for me. Okay. That's why from the beginning I sit and say okay. sex can be emotionally tie, sex yes. can emotionally tie you down with yes. the wrong person. Yes. Yes. So you don't just go sneaking around mm. with anybody. Okay. No. Okay. So so the bottom line is it is not bad to sleep with someone before marriage. When it happens, it happens, sweetheart. There okay. are people that like, when like they sex after marriage, mm-hmm. they feel bad. They hurt they hate themselves. Mm-hmm. Why did I do this? Okay. No, when it happens, it happens. You don't have to hate yourself. Okay. And and you see like people go like um sex before marriage is bad, sex before marriage is bad. Okay. Let me quote this from our very own Robert Mugabe. Okay. Or see, all I need Hello. See your penis here. Yeah, hello. We lost you there. Please come again with the quote. He quoted. Okay. Mugabe. Robert Mugabe quoted. Okay. All I hear is sex before marriage. Okay. Is that one God's plan? Go on. Mugabe's quote. Okay. All I hear is sex before marriage. Mm-hmm. If that was God's plan, okay. then you should have received your penis or vagina after marriage. Wow. 
That, that's and a powerful point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lastly, mm-hmm. I know some may show these are not strong points you have to have sex before getting married. Okay. In fact, I'm not advising anybody that what I'm saying is sex is not a terrible thing. Okay. You have the right to explore your sexual sexuality without feeling guilty. Okay. If you want to have sex with your partner, make sure it is because you want it and not because you are being pressured. Okay. Once okay. you can take once you can take a full responsibility of your actions mm-hmm. and you are ready to bear the consequences, that is attached with premarital sex. You are free to have sex. Right, right. I was I about to ask you, you for your final words, but I think you have concluded everything for us. Thank you very much, Obahima, for joining us today. You're welcome, sweetheart. Right. We, we will surely have you on the show next time because I'm, 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 I'm even shocked at all the quotes and all the things that we are hearing today. Oh, but I'm sure, the, uh, the, the, the kinky missionaries and, and the what was. I'm sure you have a lot of people busting you. But then, whatever happens, we'll surely have you back on the show. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm, 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 you welcome to all right so that was obahima Efia adika she's a student and also a relationship expert she spoke to us on the topic is sex before marriage bad and she just told us that it is not really bad if if you've done it and 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 the worst has already happened don't blame yourself for it but always take your brain along when you're going into it thank you very much that's the end of the show today follow us on all our social media handles at my mentor thanks a lot for tuning in